So this morning I'll be trying out a new mask from the drugstore. This is the Aveeno Oat Mask with Pomegranate Seed Extract. So this is one of four new masks that Aveeno put out earlier this year. It looks like this one is meant for glowing skin. They also have one with pumpkin seed extract to soothe skin, one with moringa seed to detox, and the last one has cucumber extract to hydrate. So this is also being sold as a mask that nourishes and hydrates dry skin, which sounds perfect for me because my skin tends to be super dry this time of year. And if you're new here, I review new masks all the time. They're one of my favorite products to try out. And if you'd like to check out my insanely long playlist, the link for that will be in the description box below, or you can click the card right up there. Also, if you're enjoying this video of watching it, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you wanna know more about this mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I picked this mask up for $10. Keep in mind those are Canadian prices and we tend to be a little bit higher price point up here. And on Avena's website, it says, get a brightness boost with this invigorating face mask. Let your skin's natural glow shine through with the help of this prebiotic oat face mask. Formulated with the power of pomegranate seed extract and kiwi water, this hydrating face mask will turn your skin's brightness up a notch. With a rich, velvety, smooth texture and nourishing ingredients, there's a lot to love about this mask. It also says that this mask won't clog pores, is allergy tested, paraben free, and brightens and hydrates for healthy looking skin. There are also 252 reviews on their website with an average of 4.5 stars out of 5, but I tend to be a little bit cautious when it comes to reviews on brands' websites because we all know there's a ton of fake reviews out there. So the base of this is uh, kaolin clay, and uh, that can sometimes be a little bit drying if there's not enough humectants which has me a tiny bit concerned since this is being sold as a mask for dry skin. There is also glycerin in this, which is good for skin replenishing. There is oatmeal in this, which is good for skin soothing. There is also niacinamide in this, which is a form of vitamin B3, and that is good for helping manage acne, rosacea, pigment issues, and wrinkles. Next, we have squalene, which is a really rich moisturizer. There is fragrance in this. It's not super high up in the ingredients list, but it is there just in case that's something you're looking to avoid. Apply to clean, damp skin, avoid the eye area, leave on for five to 10 minutes, then rinse. May not fully dry. Can be used two to three times a week. It's pretty fragrant. It smells a little like fruity laundry detergent. Um, it's not super overpowering, but I think I'm, what I might do is just avoid the area under my nose. Also, the consistency of this is pretty thick. Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I swear I have the maturity of a three-year-old. I'm getting this in my hair and everything. As I'm stirring this up, it almost looks like strawberry grape yogurt. That's exactly what it smells like, actually. It looks and smells like strawberry Greek yogurt. So I forgot to mention before I applied this that I'm using my little mask spatula brush that I got in um, a kit from Sp Spascriptions. If you're looking to pick one of these up, I highly recommend it. It makes the whole jar masking process a lot less messy. I know e.l.f. has one available for about six or seven dollars. So applying this was pretty easy. It has sort of like a whipped moussey consistency. Color-wise, it's like this off pink color. I'm not really sure it's showing in the camera. I mean, I've only had this on a couple of minutes and so far so good. I don't feel any sort of weird skin reactions or anything. So there is this very definite yogurt, strawberry type smell, but it's not insanely overpowering since I avoided the area under my nose. So time is 1.27. I will see you in 10 minutes. So, so far I really like this one. It doesn't dry down, which kind of caught me off guard because this is a clay base. And even though it says mask may not fully dry, um, I just expected with a kaolin clay base that this would tighten and that didn't happen. I was concerned about the scent, but that turned out not to be too overpowering. So I'm just gonna go quickly rinse this off and then I'll be back in a bit. So I didn't have to scrub super hard to get this off. Like I said earlier, it didn't dry down 100%, so it came off my skin pretty easily. So rinsing this off, I didn't really feel the bits of oatmeal in this. That being said, my skin does feel smooth and exfoliated. I think I'm probably gonna need to follow up with a moisturizer though, even though um, I didn't find this mask to be drying. It's just this time of year.
Really? You're going to do this? Um, it's just because of the time of year, my skin tends to be more on the drier side. So, so far I'm enjoying this one. My skin feels nice. It didn't leave any residue behind. Um, with the exception of the fragrance in this, there aren't any funky ingredients. I think they did a good job with these. The only thing I would change is to remove the fragrance, but that's just my personal pet peeve. I also want to try the cucumber mask in this collection that's also meant for dry skin. But as always, if you have any questions about this mask, leave them in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!